I feel so tired. I need more energy to get through the day. I've got to do something about this, but what? Com 310 Group 2 proudly presents Juicing to boost your energy and wellness. So why juice? Juicing triples the nutrients you get by eating fruits and vegetables alone. You can increase your energy naturally. Facts. Juicing fruits and vegetables allows the body to absorb more nutrients faster. Commercial juices are often processed, which reduce nutritional value. Juicing can provide a new way to enjoy fruits and vegetables, especially if you don't eat them traditionally. So what's the deal? How does it all work? Vegetables and fruits contain fiber from which the body cannot absorb nutrients. Juicing separates this insoluble fiber, ensuring more rapid absorption of the nutrients contained in fruits and vegetables. Many of these nutrients, like enzymes and phytonutrients, are health-promoting. About juicing versus blending. Juicing removes the pulp, blending includes the pulp. When juicing, there are more nutrients by volume than blending. A different machine is used for each. About the process, even if you can't cook, you can juice fruits and vegetables. With the ingredients that we put together, the name of the recipe I've come up with is a multivitamin in a glass. That's right, a multivitamin in a glass. It is filled with vitamins and nutrients that are guaranteed to make the body feel good all day long. The first ingredient that we're going to add is kale. Kale is a leafy green vegetable. It's high in iron, copper, delivering an extra energy to the body and needed oxygen to our cells. The second ingredient is carrots. Carrots are one of the healthiest ingredients that we could possibly juice. They're high in vitamins, they are good for the vision, prenatal health, bones and teeth, liver and nails, skin and hair, and helping in cancer prevention. The list goes on. Next ingredient are beets. Beets contain folate, which are optimal for the brain health. Folate's good for our emotional and our mental health. It also helps our body produce DNA and RNA. Cucumbers and celery are going to be added next. The cucumber promotes joint health, it assists with weight loss, the celery improves the immune system and reduces blood pressure and the cholesterol level. The next ingredient we're going to add are apples. Apples contain an abundance of vitamins and minerals that are critical to the body's health. They help burn fat and they're a natural sweetener to the juice itself. The last ingredient we will add are lemons. Lemons can prevent kidney stones, help weight loss, balance our pH level, and they have an anti-cancer property. You know what they say, a glass a day keeps the doctor away. And a much healthier you, a much brighter you, and a much better looking you. The last thing that I'm going to tell you about today is how to clean the vegetables. There's two different ways for two different types. The first way is the organic type. We prefer the organic type. Why? because it does not contain the pesticides that are not good for our body. So with this, with the organic vegetables, the only thing that we really need to do is wash them with hot water to get any dirt off them. With the non-organic type, they're filled with pesticides. So what we recommend to do if you're gonna use this type is place them in a sink filled with water, preferably a clean sink, and you're gonna put a quarter cup of vinegar in with it and you're gonna let the vegetables soak. Or you could put it in a large mixing bowl, fill that with water, quarter cup of vinegar, place the vegetables in there, let them soak for 30 minutes, and then when it's done, take them out, wash it off with hot water, and your vegetables are now ready to juice. Once we thoroughly clean the ingredients, the next thing we want to do is to chop them into chunks that will easily fit into the juicing machine. The juicer we are using has a 3 inch wide feed tube so the pieces do not have to be too small. But things like apples, beets, and lemons may need to be chunked to allow the machine to work properly. This is a 1000 watt juicer and the blades spin it up to 13,000 RPM so it is powerful enough to handle anything you could possibly want to juice. That being said, we still do not want to try to overwork the machine so having things cut into an easily manageable size is just a better idea than trying to cram everything in there all at once. This could cause the machine to malfunction as well as creating a potential hazard in our kitchen. We do not want to do either of those things. We are juicing 
to try to preserve our health, so it only makes sense that we should try to preserve our safety in the process. I am now getting ready to juice. I am using the Brevo Elite Fountain Juice. So the way this juicer works is the food will go in here and the blade, it's going to extract all the juice and then all the extra juice will come into this canister here and the leftover will go into this bucket. So it's very fast, very powerful and very clean. I prepped the work earlier and I cut the apples in half, the beets, the lemons, and the cucumber in half. And then here I have the kale, the carrots, and the celery. So the tip about, so this juicer is a two speed, thousand watt juicer. So it has low speed for veggies, then it has a high speed for hard fruits such as apple, lemons, and beets. So I'm gonna start with the high speed. Cause I'm gonna juice the hard stuff first. As we start the juicer and begin to put in the ingredients, there are some things we need to be aware of. First, we wanna make sure that we are using the plunger provided to push the ingredients down through the feed tube towards the blade. We do not wanna use any other objects, especially those made of wood, plastic, or metal, because that could damage the machine. Also, we want to keep our fingers out of the feed tube and clear from the blade at all times. If something gets stuck, we want to shut the machine off and unplug it from the power source before attempting to dislodge anything from the blade. We also want to make sure that when we place the ingredients into the feed tube that we either cover it quickly with our hand or with the plunger so that nothing jumps out at us. As we stated, the blade spins it up to 13,000 RPM and it could quickly turn a piece of fruit into a dangerous projectile if we are not careful. Now I'm going to the low speed. You can see it's even here is quieter. Where I can do my carrots. Starting to fill up right there. All right, so we have finished juicing. Uh, as you can see, all of the extra access of the leftover fruits 
and veggies are here and then over here we have our juice So that should be enough for about two people, depending on the size cup that you use. But myself, I like to drink a lot, so this is enough for myself. So you have it. This is the juicing using the Brevo Juice Fountain Elite.